Work-life balance is often an elusive goal for Canadian parents, and Parliament isn't exactly known as the place to find it. But that could be changing. A committee has been struck to figure out how to make Parliament more family-friendly. Joining me now to talk about their own experiences are two MPs and mothers, Conservative Lisa Raitt and New Democrat Ruth Allen Brusso. Thanks so much for being here. Happy Mother's Day to you both. Thank you very <laughs> Thank much. You. I'll start off with you, Lisa. Tell yeah. me a bit about what life is like as a mom on the Hill. Uh, well, on the Hill, I'm, I'm the MP, so my kids stay in the riding, and I keep in touch with them through text now because they're of that age, 14 and 11. Um, but when I'm home on the weekends, it's all about them. I really do compartmentalize, and I focus very clearly on what's going on. And right now, what's going on in our lives is a lot of soccer and football and basketball and a lot of time spent in the car driving around the GTA. And that's kind of what we do when you find those moments to have conversations and you watch basketball games together and you just kind of hang out. That's uh, and and I try not to let um, anything else come come into the picture from a work perspective on the weekends. And you have two children, right? I have two boys. Yeah. John Colin, we call him JC and Billy. And they're excellent kids. They're great so far, but you, know, you never know. <laughs> you find out from other people if they're nice ones or if they're little jerks. So. <laughs> and what about you, Ruth Allen? Uh, so on the Hill, it's a little bit different. My son goes to school in Gatineau. Uh, I'm a single mom. When I was elected in 2011, Logan was 10. He's 15 now. So every morning, it's a mad rush trying to poke him and wheel him out of bed, making sure he gets off to school. Um, but at least I get to see him. I try to make sure um, that I can get home and hopefully go over his homework or try to make a rugby practice. But uh, mine's a little bit different because uh, yeah. I, my, my parents help out a lot too to make sure that when he gets home from school, he has somebody to help him do his homework, make sure he eats, and he's up to mm -hmm. some good stuff. So uh, I'm really lucky to have the support of my family. But you know, when I go back to the riding, it's different. I usually go alone because I make sure that my days are jam packed, morning till night, and I'm meeting with constituents and doing activities. But it is important to have that balance and make sure that when I have that few hours alone with him the cell phone is away we're talking about you know weather rugby friends stuff like yeah. that how does it compare trying to strike the balance now as a politician versus what you did you know in your past mm -hmm. jobs career that kind of thing oh uh, before being elected I worked sometimes two and three jobs uh, at the same time I worked minimum wage and then I worked at the bar and I was trying to pick up tips so I always had to work hard um, I had the support of my family which made it really easy um, easier because without them I wouldn't have been able to do the work um, at the time so I think my experience before really helped me or be prepared for the kind of crazy work we do in the House of Commons and juggling mm -hmm. um, but both sides they're, they're not easy but I wouldn't change it for the world yeah and what about you Lisa I worked in Toronto I was um, a CEO at uh, the Toronto Port Authority so I commuted early in the morning and I was gone the, and the kids were babies then mm -hmm. so I would get up before they got up in the morning <clears throat> and sometimes I get home after they got they went to bed and I found that hard. Um, I find I have a little bit more flexibility being an MP because I can actually pick some events that I want to go to for them and I can schedule it around. Work was a lot more restrictive. There's not as much flexibility. Uh, certain things you have to do here in Ottawa, you gotta vote mm -hmm. and you have to show up and um, you can't stay at home in your riding as much as you like. But if you talk it through with your whip, sometimes they do let you do some cool things with your kids. So more flexibility. Um, but uh, busy, it's always busy. I mentioned earlier there's that committee that's now looking at how to make Parliament more family friendly. A couple of the options that they're examining would be a four day work week, uh, voting by proxy or electronic voting, standard working hours. I'm wondering what you guys think of those changes. Lisa? Mm. I'd like to know what the thinks thinks. I, I actually I have thought about this an awful lot. Making a decision to run for, for elected office, knowing that it's in Ottawa, mm -hmm. um, when you have kids, is a decision you don't take lightly and you kind of know what you're, you're in for. And you make the decision to do it anyway. And, and it is, it's a team, team sport. Everyone has to be involved, family and everything. Four day work week doesn't work for me. Mm -hmm. um, I also believe that you should be showing up to vote. I think when you're, you, when you're here, when people send you here, you have to do the job and you try to make it work out. And as I said, my kids are good. They're well adjusted. They don't want to go into politics. They have no desire to go to any <laughs> political events with me whatsoever. <laughs> um, but they're, you know, my teacher, their teachers tell me they're nice kids and they help other people. So they're learning that through example that there is sacrifice that does happen in life to make people's lives better. And that's an okay thing. 
I, I'm not for a four-day work week at all, and it is working with your WIPs, right? Yeah. Some people get to leave the Thursday after question period and they go home. If you want to have a, a birthday party, you just got to work with your party, yeah. work with your WIPs, switch it up your shifts. We make it work. Scheduling on weekends, we decide what we want to do. Do you guys have any advice for other moms thinking about entering politics? Uh, yeah, and, and for women who aren't moms yet thinking about politics, my advice would be you can do it all and you should. If you have a desire to have kids, you should have kids. And it should not be an impediment to anything you want to do in life. And, and it can be tough and you can work it out, but it's, life isn't tough. Life isn't easy. You know, life is choices and um, I think it's great to have mothers on the hill. And we have more and more mothers on the hill. Just yesterday, um, well, this week, we had uh, Kristen Moore, who's always in the house with Daphne. Um, it's possible. We have change tables. We have a room now for parents where they could have some quiet time mm -hmm. and, and maybe breastfeed and just play. So things yeah. are changing on the hill. Um, it's getting better, not just for moms, but also for, for dads, too. We can't forget it takes two to tango. So your advice would be to enter politics as well, not let something like, uh, you know, your desire to have kids or your, the fact that you already have them holds you back. It's possible and it's a great job. It's a great opportunity and it's an honor to serve our constituents. And, and uh, I think we, we elected more women this time around. We're far from having parity in the House of Commons. We're still only 88 out of 338. We still have a lot of work to do, but mm -hmm. I encourage women to, to reach out. You know, I'd love to talk to, to women that are interested and, or men that are interested about getting involved in politics. It's possible. Every parent works hard. Yeah, Even in our writings, every yeah. parent works hard. Everyone juggles. We just do it in public. Yeah. Well, thank you both so much for the advice and for uh, for those great answers. We really appreciate it. Happy Mother's Day. Thank Happy you. Mother's Day. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs>